Same thing. You can hit it there. You can hit it head and arm throw from there. There's so many different ways some of the coaches. You're in good position if he's got this from, say he's landed like a liver kick or a liver punch. And he's going down. You call in wrestling the referee position uh, or the turtle, if you call it jujitsu. Okay. So he's down. And in wrestling, we win matches with the basics. The basics are, are what wins you your matches. And I'm going to show you this technique. This is what we call a far side cradle. It's a far side cross face cradle. So when he's down, I want to get him on my toes. I don't want my weight on him so he feels good, right? Now, um, as I pressure him, his instinct is going to be to kick this leg out. And as he kicks this leg out, all I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take this bone, my alma bone, my sharp bone, I'm going to throw it like a punch across his eye socket. Grab here, and I'm going to crank it. Just like that. And typically, if I'm in a wrestling match, and from this position, I'm going to roll back for a pin. But from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to post my far side leg, and I'm going to take my near side leg, and I'm going to drive my knees in. See, I'm still up on my toes. Boom. Boom. Mm. Punish him. Punish him. Make him feel, make him feel that bone. Make him feel that alma bone. It's on your toes. Feeling the pressure of your weight. That's the key to this technique. You want him to carry your weight the entire time. Very common position, that turtle. That turtle position. Just do it one more time. From here. He's carrying my weight, right? He's kicking that leg out to get up. Boom, like a punch. Drop down, up on his toes. Drive those knees in, baby. Boom, boom, boom. You guys practice that? Meet here, here. All I'm doing is sitting and dropping. Stepping this leg, and I'm dropping. Boom. It's a plan. Oh, sorry, man. So if I do, he can pull away, yank away. I'm grabbing him here on the meat of the hand, and I'm also going to cup him here when I hit it right on the meat of the tricep. And it's, it's an arm drag, it's a short arm drag, outside trip to a cradle, and you can go right into a head and arm choke. So I'll show you guys just the, the basic. From here, pull here, step here, and then swing right yeah, here. He and look at, look at, really tight, taking his knee. His knee should pretty much be touching his jaw. Right coming through, cup and slap. And then I just notice I'm grabbing his hand. Uh, and I'm resting it here. The reason, reason I'm doing that is if I grab him here, Bob can make a fist. He's got all those forearm muscles. It feels so much different. He's just going to pull. So I'm going to grab here. And then this is just old school. Same principle from Billy Wicks. Using your head, using your fist. I'm going to come in here underneath. And I'm driving my fist. And I'm just taking my head and driving it down. Ooh. Into a, so driving my head into a warm pit. That's a good one. And then, you can, then you can also go into your hammer lock from here. Same thing. Some of the coaches are like, what the hell? Because it teaches so much different. It's just a variation. So instead of going head to head, you're in a collar tie. This is how it always used to go. Come down on the face. Like this. Come down on your face. And you're making it point. And you're going to get your hands up. You're going to get your hands up. And you're going to get your hands up. And at the same time, you're working angles. Like we, 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 the technique we just did, right? Here. So, with that cross face cradle, like he said, this, and he can go back and he can elbow you. So you want to come in, when you hit it, see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm using my chin and my head as a weapon. Yeah. So we can't go <laughs> elbow back. What do you do? Cup and slap? Drive in? Get your weight up? Yep, now remember the grip. The grip, the grip, one, the grip. We talked all along today about the, the cross face in that position, right? Where you grab here, everybody do it like this. Grab here, right? And you pull, and at the same time as you pull, you drive in your chest down, right? So, we talked about leg riding in, in, in that position. So, if I'm coming in here, if I put a leg in here, okay, there's so many things I can do here. I can go in for a banana split. I could, you know, I, it takes a lot to get the arm up. 
and, and go in for any problems. We, but watch this. You get your leg in. And then, no, and then you're going right away to the cross face. Yep. And now lock that grip and remember. From hand fighting, if you're hand fighting and cup and slap, and I pull him in, or if he's coming in to shoot, go back a little bit. So if he's coming in to shoot, I come here, I do a half sprawl, right? So what, see the mechanics here, watch this, this foot. And then look at how I got, I've got his head yeah, right. Come, around come down head. around on that picture, unless as you can see. I've got his neck crank right here on the ground. So I push in my weight and I can turn his neck. That's so it's it. coming from my legs, it's the same thing. Pulling here, and I'm doing like, oh, I go under here, here, and then come over here. I don't want to do it. But to get up on your toes and crank the neck. So I'm cranking her neck and then I'm pressing my chest. I kept going over. I didn't go under. I'm yeah, just, yeah. Your hand. Oh, I mean, it's, it's really like it's like a chicken. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Now, turn, switch turn, your hips. Turn, turn. Switch my hips. Switch your hips. Yep. Yeah. And get up on your toes. Get up on my toes. Uh, dry. 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 Oh, God. I feel like I'm going to break your neck. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you're doing. Okay. And then go here. Yeah. And then your chest higher up. That, that, yeah, that's good. Yep. Yep. Okay. But stay up on your toes. You're on your knees. I want to tap before you get hurt. You want to be up on your toes. Do it. Um, do it on me. Oh, boy. Come on. 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 You, you got it. Now get up on your toes. But the way you get it, you really yeah, make it on the bottom uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Get up on your toes and drive it up. <laughs> so it sets up like a Kimura or an Aeroponic. Yeah. Sorry. No, that was good. Okay. So when you're coming yeah, in. We're talking about the uh, double wrist sack or Kimura. What I did here, it was a little different. When I cup and slap, I got, I got her here. Yeah. Because if I grab her here, she can make a fist and she can pull away. Yeah. When I grab her here, I'm twisting her arm. And then I come through over the elbow joint. And I can come here with my omba bone, attack the wrist, and attack the wrist at the same time as I go up for the shoulder. So it's a little bit different. That's a, we call that a side double wrist slot. Pain from this move comes from her driving her head into the jaw uh, and driving up, and also with her hand driving down at the same time. See, Melissa's got strong legs, so she can get, get underneath there. And yeah, you feel it on the jaw. You're cranking the neck. We did before, we did like a Bulgarian, you know, in your ties, if you all remember, like if, I, if I'm coming here and I'm turning his neck, you know, I'm pushing down and pushing up and all of that. Watch how, this is, this is like a pick, it's an ankle pick. So if I'm coming from here and I slide down and down the hand, and I'm coming down here, it's like an accordion. His instinct is to go back. So I slide and hit. It's right there. Crazy. So it's five, three. That's right there. So it's like an accordion. So, so his instinct is going to be to pull back. So as soon as I release that collar tie, he's going back. I'm down low, I slip. Boom, I pick that ankle. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do one. So if you're here, I started here in a, in a, in a collar tie. I'm working down. I pull, and then six. And then. Yeah, so remember, get your head down further down on the jaw because you want to be twisting it up. There you go. And now penetrate forward, pick that ankle. Just go right behind, release that. There you go. Then you go for the triangle. Yeah. Stand something like everybody goes and they do, and they do double legs. And they end up getting caught in the arm. So instead, try this. Like, so say you land a shot, your opponent's stunned. You step in here, and we call this duck walk. Right here, where his knee bends, I step. Watch. When I land, I got his leg figure for it. He ain't gonna pull guard. Now from here, chest down. Hand here and just watch my feet. Step right here to get your side. 
So it's it's cool. I mean, we're not seeing you call that dog walking, but it's a takedown. It's great for great for MMA. And again, I'll just do the takedown part again real quick. So say you land that shot, I step back here, figure four. Right away, I'm figure four, and I gotta watch my neck. And here. See how you crawl a duck in like that? Yeah, that's simple, basic wrestling takedown, perfect for MMA. Scoot your cross, yeah. like a tube of toothpaste. Do that one again, like so he's just landed, so he's landed a body shot. And you step in, penetrate, yep. Figure four of that leg. Nice. There you go. He's coming for my chin. Fighting Edge again, Animal TV, and uh, I've got the great Phil Collins with me. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Great legendary kickboxer uh, from come up with uh, Don the Dragon Wilson and, and Donnie Hare, and uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, the folks here from the Cradle and a lot of different entries, and I just want to show a couple of uh, ground and pound and submissions you can do from the cradle because it's right there. So get over here. It still has me in the front hand lock here. Now if you remember here from the last technique, I'm coming underneath and I'm grabbing his hand. And I'm grabbing here, that clearing, okay, set for an outside trip. My hand goes here, down, right into the cradle. I'm up on my toes, okay? Now bring, come over here, Melissa, on the other side of his head, so you can see this. So I'm down here, I'm up on my toes, and I said it, it's right there. Look where his wrist is, okay? T take a look at where his wrist is. Right here, watch this. Drop, top wrist lock right there. Get that bone in. Or, we're here, same position. Got that cradle locked. I scoop underneath his arm right here. Now, watch. Come up. Boom, 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 boom. Or get this one close because this is, this is kind of a rare one. I put here on his chest, go over here by his knee. I don't want to do it too hard on him here, but I post this and I pull for the neck crank. I crank it and pull right at the same time. So there's a couple of techniques you can do right from, from that cradle position. And Merry Christmas. All right, I'm back with the man himself, Phil Collins here at Fighting Edge for Hannibal TV. And this comes with a story. Back in the day, bouncing back home in a club in uh, Connecticut that was uh, well on the Strong Island Sound that was notorious to some who knew as being a mobbed up club, and I got in trouble for using this technique to take a gentleman out. I didn't know that he was a nephew of one of the bosses, but this was a great, easy technique. He's here, he's giving me a, a bunch, of, bunch of lip, and he pokes me, snap down, come right away, here, and I walk him to the door. Walk him to the door, walk him to the door. Walk him to the door, come on, come to the door, come to the door. And then, double, right out the door. And that almost got me killed many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good job. At Fighting Edge with the man himself, Phil Collins. He's got, he's got fast hands, fast feet, and uh, we all know his musical skills. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're going to do another Cradle series. And this one, uh, whenever we do the Bulgarian tie, it's the principle of body mechanics, where the head goes, the body goes, and you control the neck, you control the head. So do it a little slower, you know, traditional collar ties. And I hated this when I was coaching in South Carolina, when they were head to head like this, not getting any, any benefit from it. 
come down here, coming down right on his jaw, and you're manipulating his head, and you're creating angles here. You get the sweep. Get up on our toes, and right away, what I want to do here is a technique called the stockade, where it's right here. I'm going over my arm, and I come up over. Now, here, I can walk up on my toes, and I can ground and pound. Now, how is he going to defend? Phil, how are you going to defend? He's going to defend with this hand here. This hand is very vulnerable. If I take it here, grab on the hand, and I pull up, I can go right to straight on bar. Or we go back to that position here. Pow. Last time we showed the, how that top wrist lock is right there, right? Here's another technique. Walking up, I reach back by his ear. Now, my hand is up under his armpit here. So what I'm doing is, I'm pulling the arm and stretching the neck. It's a nasty neck crank right there. See that? So, those are some more techniques you can do from the ground. So again, we're doing that, doing that Bulgarian tie. Slip down. Here. Get a two on one. Step through here. Now what I'm going to do here, fixing his leg here, I'm going to go underneath instead of over. So I'm going to come underneath, I'm going to hook the Achilles on the way down. <laughs> Woo! So that's, that's uh, we're doing that because of the uh, story in the news of Joe Rogan and the Nature Boy. Woo!